Good afternoon, family, and welcome back to another episode of Godspeed, where we provide you a weekly market overview for the Lexus LC500. All right, family, we've got some amazing opportunities for my top three this week. We've got a sub $60,000 2018. We have a low mileage 2019 inspiration series that we don't even have pictures for yet, but I got to get this in front of you because it's a tremendous low mileage and tremendous price on this one. And then finally, we've got a record low one owner low miles 2022 performance package. All right, family, let's get into tonight's episode. But before we do, I greatly appreciate your continued support. Please do subscribe to the channel. Let's go. We got some tremendous opportunities this week. Let's get started with this 2018 Lexus LC 500. Guys, let's take a look at some of the pictures. This is obviously a beautiful infrared exterior. I mean, I think it's showing very nicely out here at Tillery Chevrolet GMC. Um, this one's got the toasted caramel interior. This is a performance package, right? We can see obviously the uh, retractable spoiler hiding right there. Um, but I think this is gonna make a tremendous package because you know we've talked about in the past how this infrared exterior with the toasted caramel interior and the carbon fiber that comes with the performance package is just a beautiful combination. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And you know what? I like what they've done down here, too. I mean, I've seen this, you know, online as an aftermarket option to kind of swap things out a bit. Um, I think it, you know, it very it, it blends very nicely with the color. The beautiful thing is I'm pretty sure they've got the um, floor mats for anybody who is not feeling that particular design. Seats look to be tremendous. We got a free umbrella in the back on, on this one. Um, the Alcantara looks to be in tremendous shape, right? And so does the, the paint and the siding of the seats, right? Everything looks really good. Um, you know, sometimes these lighter conditioned vehicles, right? We got to take a look at the steering wheel because we've seen some some wear, right? From just the age and just how certain individuals might be wearing rings or whatnot. But the pictures on this one are showing really nicely, guys. No scratches or anything like that on the armrest, which is always a positive. I don't know why these inside of the armrest just get so dirty, right? Um, but yeah, it looks like a, maybe just a little bit of scratching right there. So that might be an area to condition, right? I'm kind of I'm kind of nitpicking now, right? But uh, steering wheel looks to be in good shape. All right, guys, let's take a look at some of the deets on this one, right? So obviously 34,000 miles, which is tremendous because let's face it, if we think about the five, I'm sorry, the 10,000 mile allotment that we're providing for these vehicles, I mean, this thing should absolutely have somewhere, if you want to call it average, somewhere in that 60,000 mile range. So this one's absolutely under average, you know, coming in at roughly about five to 600 miles per year. OK, um, we're going to jump to um, the actual Carfax report on this one uh, to take a closer look. Right. So this week I'm actually pulling from Auto Trader for this particular vehicle. And one of the advantages that we get from Auto Trader or the features rather is that, you know, we get that um, that. Uh, Carfax report a little bit more readily than we do on some of our other ones, right? So let's jump over to the Carfax report, right? Before we do, let me just settle back in. We're looking at a 2018 with 34,000 miles. This is a performance package. So best package you can get with the exception of the Inspiration Series, arguably, right? And we've got a price point of $59,741. Why is it on the, the site this week? Well, for those factors, right? Best package possible, a sub $60,000 car in today's market, right, which is tremendous, and we've got these very low miles on it. Now, when we jump over to the Carfax, guys, we are going to see that this thing does have one accident reported, okay? Let's kind of look through it real quick together, and one of the things that I like about this is that we'll get a chance to get that much more familiar with the Carfax reports. They traditionally have a couple formats that they come in. But, you know, we talk about these at length. And so I thought, you know what, just to get a little bit of time in front of these might not hurt um, any of us. Just knowing that when it comes time for us to pull the trigger, we know how to read these reports. OK, so three owners on this one. All right. We do have an accident reported here. We're going to get down to that one. OK, um, what I do like about this one, though, is that it's checked out on all the other stuff. Right. Particularly no airbag deployment. Right now, you know, 
people's experience with accidents are going to vary in range. Um, where I've got more experience at is with the minor accidents where there has been no airbag deployment. Okay. Um, in the moderate and severe areas of accidents, I don't have as much experience. And so, you know, naturally, right. My risk tolerance doesn't normally take me in that direction. But when we've got an accident that's showing in minor and we don't have an airbag deployment, that's the space where I feel a bit more comfortable right in that minor stage. All right. When we look at this one right here, um, you know, obviously first owner, look, it was, it was offered certified, of course, right? That's brand new. So nothing, well, actually no certified. So it must have, I wonder if this was a, yeah, a dealer car, right? Cause you know, it looks like it's showing right here that the first sale of it was at 4,000 miles. So it truly was a used vehicle. So maybe this was a, you know, something that the dealer drove around for a bit. Um, Looks like it was in Louisiana um, after that, then went to New Mexico with its third owner. But man, if you look at these miles, guys, I mean, I'm talking baby miles on this thing, right? I mean, it made it to 2019 with 9,000 miles on it, and that's where it got into the hand of its uh, last owner. We've got the 15,000 mile service um, ahead of schedule done at Lexus of Albuquerque. Um, <clears throat> We got front brake pads replaced at 17,000 miles. So remember, this is about 36,000 miles on this one. So brake pads were replaced in. More than likely, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just guessing here, right? But more than likely, this could have very well been going from sport pads to non-sport pads, right? Just because of the squeaks and stuff like that. Not everybody likes uh, to hear those squeaks on an expensive car like this. We've got the 20,000 mile service that was done at 18,000 miles. You know, one thing I do like to see on this kind of stuff is when somebody comes in, you know, with these services, um, keep in mind, it, this was not um, certified at the time. So they're coming out of pocket on these one for this third owner. But it's really nice to see that somebody's taking care of the services even ahead of time. So that's less stress on the vehicle, obviously. Right. We've got another oil change done here at twenty three thousand miles alignment done at 29,000 miles and then that damage gets reported um in uh, on Halloween no less <laughs> Halloween of 2023 last year guys uh had a little accident and you got to know that was a hard day for them um then it looks like you know the, the vehicle I don't know what the mileage is you know probably you know either right in that 30,000 mile range potentially um, and then, of course, looks like the owner held on to the vehicle, got it repaired, all that good stuff. And then um, in March of this year, it looks like it got the 90,000. I'm sorry. I think this is a I think this is just one where, the uh, you know, somebody fat fingered it at the at the at the, the service station. Right. Or the dealership. So the 30,000 mile service was performed. If you guys recall. Right. That's the that's our first larger um uh, service, right? It's because of, you know, we get these brake fluid flushed and changed, you know, air filter is no big deal. I think the biggest thing on this one right here is just that brake flush, right? And then of course they're checking for brakes because they're trying to look and see if you need some brakes. Looks like the brakes are still in good condition. Um, at least as of, you know, end of the first quarter this year, uh, which is, you know, a, a good sign, right? Um, tires rotated, uh, tire condition and pressure check, Potentially, those are in good service as well. I mean, you've got a fresh oil change on this thing, so that's a good thing. And of course, I'm pretty sure, you know, at some point, you know, they probably, Tillery may have went ahead and did another oil change on the car just to kind of get it prepped for sale, okay? So that's a quick look through the Carfax on this one, right? But I think we've got a tremendous opportunity here for a sub $60,000 2018 performance package. And it's in one of the best combinations that you can think of, right? I mean, that infrared with the performance package and toasted caramel, carbon fiber everywhere, I think that's a tremendous look. So, family, if you're looking for a sub $60,000 vehicle, absolutely come out here, check out on Auto Trader, um, and check out Tillery Chevrolet and get a little bit more information about this one. But I think this one definitely gets a thumbs up because of, you know, the pricing, the mileage. And yes, we got that one accident, but man, you know what looks to be minor. Um, I definitely, you know, when you go in, it's still, I still hold true to all of my, my strategy guys, right? I'm taking this thing to Lexus, letting them check it out, letting them give their, their kiss on it. 
and then I'm moving forward with it. You know, maybe even because we're, we're at a Chevrolet dealership, maybe we have an opportunity to negotiate a bit as well. But it's already showing a bit underneath um, market value, uh, showing for a great price right there. Okay, 59741 all right, family, next car tonight is a 2019 Lexus LC 500 Inspiration Series. So, guys, I apologize. I don't have any pictures because this one's hot off the press, right? But, you know, for these Inspiration Series, I got to get them in front of us because, you know, traditionally, they just don't last that long, especially if, you know, the better the better opportunity they are, the, l the less amount of time they last on the market, right? So while they're still prepping this vehicle and they haven't got it to a place where they want to put gorgeous pictures out here, I still got to get it in front of us because, you know what, now could very well be a strategic time to strike, all right? <clears throat> so let's talk about it real quick. No pictures to go through, but you guys know this vehicle, right? We've got that beautiful flare yellow exterior on this one. We've got the bespoke yellow interior, which I absolutely love because you got white and you got yellow Alcantara. Love, love, love that. Um, now, we've got 19,000 miles on this one, right, which is, again, tremendous because, you know, while we would anticipate an Inspiration Series to be driven less, let's still just kind of go, you know, middle of the road and give that 10,000-mile allotment, uh, fam, okay? And so even this one right here, you know, it's 24. This is a five-year-old vehicle, right? It could very well have 50,000 miles on it. You know, this is like somewhere in that 400 to 500 miles per year driven vehicle. And, you know, when I'm personally looking at these Inspiration Series, I like to see these. This is where if I'm going to be a little more strict on the mileage, this is where I'm going to be more strict at on these Inspiration Series because they have the potential, they have more potential to be that collector, right? Or just to give you that greater value, okay? So 19,000 miles, absolutely low, okay? Um, $72,300. Now, guys, you know, this is this is on par with the market current date, okay? This is a bit higher, family, I won't lie, and I know if you guys have been following me for, you know, any number of months, especially last year, you know, we were able to see these things for very much in the 60s, right? Um, but I think if I'm not mistaken, and I'll go back and look and just confirm it, but if I'm not mistaken, all this year for 2024 family, you know, we've been seeing the 2019 Inspiration Series, heck, even the 2018s that are that are specced out like this one, right, with the low miles, um, you know, and the, and the, the no accidents. I think th th they've been lingering in that 70 high 60 and by high 60 I mean like 69999 into that low 70 price point okay so let's kind of look at the deets on this one um now I did jump over this one's being offered by Lexus of Tampa Bay so you can go out to their website I'm assuming that this is probably going to be the place that you're going to get pictures first but I'll keep an eye on this one family as much as possible over the weekend and if pictures come up I will give you guys a heads up that, listen, we've got pictures and I'll drop a link in there to either the um, auto traders or directly to the Lexus website, okay? But since they are offering that Carfax, I want to come out here and take a look at this one, right? So we got three previous owners. You know, that's probably more owners than I'd personally like to see on an Inspiration Series. But, you know, again, you, you know, one of the things that I've been kind of marinating on as I think through, you know, why some of these LC500s might have higher ownership than you would anticipate, is let's face it, guys, these cars, they, they kind of have a very, very small niche, right? You know, I know people who love the car and they're going to try to fit them into their lifestyle regardless of whether they got kids, whether they have to have a vehicle they drive every day, et cetera, et cetera. But I would say that this vehicle really really lends itself to somebody who, number one, it's not their primary vehicle, right? Number two, um, it's not being used a lot, right? This is more of a leisure vehicle, okay? Um, and so when you have a vehicle like that, you know, depending on people's circumstances, right? You know what? The car may only suffice or provide what they need for that a period of time for only so long, right? And so, you know, you might see that this thing has more owners. So I think with this vehicle, I'm going to step a little bit away from my normal critique on the number of owners 
right? Because that's that at the end of the day, that boils down to preference, right? Um, now, when you go to resell this car, let's just be honest, right? As I'm as I'm hearing myself out loud, when you go to resell this car, there's gonna be a little bit of a hit with the number of owners, right? Let's be honest about that. So if you're going into this with the intentions of, hey, I might enjoy this for a couple of years myself, and then I might end up reselling it, just take into consideration that, listen, you know, this, the buyer is going to absolutely, especially if it's a dealer, the buyer is going to absolutely use that as leverage to get this vehicle as low priced as possible from you. And I think it's still a strategy that you should use when you get look ready to pick up this vehicle as well, right? So sorry about the rants here. Let's get into this, right? No airbag deployed on this one. Um, again, no accidents, right? So no accidents, no airbags. Um, I do love that no accident piece. I mean, not even a minor accident. I love that, okay? Um, first owner had a 15,000 miles, guys. Second owner had it for 17,000. And then in 2021, it went to its third owner, which had it for 2,000 miles, okay? So looks like that first owner really, really enjoyed it. Second owner's kind of more of a enjoyment collection. Uh, Clearwater Lexus is where it got received. It got the tent done at the dealership. Not bad right there. I love to see that. Um, hopefully that's you know, a ceramic tent. I don't know if there's a way to check out tent family and, and to tell if it's ceramic or not. But boy, I tell you, that ceramic, especially as, as, as hot as things are getting, uh, that ceramic tent is a lifesaver. OK, as a matter of fact, you know, I think now the front windshields being ceramic tinted um, is is an option. Right. We can talk about that later, but you know, if you guys are driving your LC 500 and you get on substantial heat from that front windshield, just know that you can actually get that ceramic tinted, and obviously you're not going to get any additional tint um, or a shading, I should say, on that front windshield unless you prefer it. If you do, make sure you check out what's uh, you know regulatory in your area. Okay. All right, we got the 5,000 maintenance service done ahead of time. Okay, I'd like to see that. Um, <clears throat> One tire mounted, so it looks like that's probably just, you know, a little something on the road. Um, Pre-delivery inspection, right? And then cabin air filter replaced, front wipers replaced, right at that $15,000 mark, right? Second owner picks it up in twenty December of 2020. Um, and you know what's interesting? Yeah, you know what? I mean, I see where the second owner is the dealer. Um, Discovery Auto Center LLC. I don't know if these guys maybe, maybe they maybe they did not sell it, family. You know, uh, so that if you're interested in this vehicle, that might be something to explore a little bit, right? Obviously, it's an owner, but I'm thinking if you look at owner owner two, we're showing seventeen thousand five hundred and sixty two. And then look down here at owner three, we're showing 17,591. I mean, that's not even 30, that's 29 miles on this thing, right? So that's, you know, that that's going to be interesting right there. But I think the, the real play on this one, if you're looking to buy it, is that this probably is more of a two owner vehicle, not a three owner vehicle, okay? All right, so then we get it down here to Lexus of Tampa. Right, they maintenance it, do a battery charge, check all that good stuff. I'm looking for the service on this one because we're getting closer to that 20,000 mile service. Um, oh well, we don't have 20,000 miles on it yet, so no 20,000 mile service. But we, I don't see a 15,000 mile service either. So you know, just double check. I see the 5,000 mile service. I don't see the 10,000 or the 15,000 mile service. So one way you, you can remedy that is if you're interested in this vehicle, absolutely, you can call, I mean, it's, it's at a Lexus dealership. So the beautiful thing is, is that you provide them that VIN number and just say, hey guys, I just want to see what maintenance we have in the um, database for this particular vehicle. Because what it could be is that they got it maintenance. And you know what? It's just not showing on Carfax, right? And I've seen that in the past. So they'll give you a report and they'll be like, oh yeah, the, the 10, 15,000 was done. And guess what? The 20 was done. We're doing the 20 right now as a part of this service, okay? So that's that one right now. Let's talk real quick because I almost forgot about it, right? Let's talk real quick since 
This one's at a Lexus dealership family. More than likely, it's going to be certified, right? And since we've got 20,000 miles on the speedometer for this one, not quite, but I'm just going to round up for the you know, number's sake, you're going to get your next 20,000 covered. So you're going to get that 30,000 miles uh, service taken care of. And we know that that's the one that's roughly about a thousand dollars. So we absolutely are going to be able to, with the four total services, get at least a value of $2,000 off of this one. Okay. Now, of course, I'm going to give another $2,000 value assessment because of the extended warranty two years that you're going to pick up on this one. When you look at it like that, let's just kind of break this down a little bit. 72,300 goes to 70,300 and that's real practical dollars, right? Because you, you would have to come out of pocket that money if you were not picking this up at a Lexus dealership that was certified. Okay. So when we think about a $70,000 2019 inspiration series with under 20,000 miles on it, <clears throat> no accidents, more like two previous owners, Guys, now now things are starting to, to, to gel and mesh exactly where I'd like to see them for an opportunity like this, okay? When you think about the $2,000 worth of additional warranty bumper to bumper for two years, that could take that down to more like $68,300, okay? Which, again, I think that's, I think that's practical value that comes from that warranty. Um, but I do understand, right, when you go to write that check, it's going to, or when you go to sign this paperwork, it's going to say 72,300 is the sales price, unless you're able to go in here and do a little bit of negotiation. Now, real quickly, when we talk about negotiation, I mean, I still think we go in with some negotiation and try to get this price down. Make sure you check out your inspection sheet, right? Look at those brakes, look at those tires, ensure that you don't have a better opportunity to negotiate on getting replacement of those items as a part of the certification, the L certification. Um, and then if you're able to pull off three, even 300 bucks, right? I mean, I'm, you know, I, I personally, $301, right? Get this down to another digit, right? 71,999, I think is even better. Okay. But this one's going to be interesting, right? You know, sometimes these 2019s are, are unique because not everybody's crazy about the yellow color, but man, they sell. Right. I mean, and for good reason. Right. I mean, they're a beautiful color. And again, they're the only combination you're going to get yellow Alcantara in. So these cars are very unique. Right. You've got the carbon fiber. Remember, guys, don't have pictures to walk you all through on this one. But a couple things to call out real quick is that this 2019, unlike the 2018, was kind of built on a performance package. Right. So you got the retractable spoiler. You got the carbon fiber top on this one. You got the carbon fiber seals which is obviously for an inspiration series, but this one has some of the nicest carbon fiber door seals on any of the inspiration series. So you definitely got some pieces. And what we also don't know is for this price point, I mean, do we have any tasteful mods done to this car? And by that, <clears throat> right, I don't mean body kits and anything of that nature, but you know, we know we got the, I think we got the tent done on this one, but tent done to it. You know, I know a lot of people like to see the blacked out um, Lexus 21 inch wheels on this color combination, right? We could potentially have that done as well. So there's a few aspects of this that we just don't know, but I think with what we are aware of here, we've got a tremendous opportunity for somebody who has this much in their budget and they're particularly looking for this highly sought after 2019 inspiration series. All right. Okay, family. And then last but not least, guys, we got a used 2022 Lexus LC 500. This one is performance package and family. I'm super excited about this one because this one is the record low 2022 price point, right? Now, 22s, interestingly enough, are dropping in price. We've got a couple other 22 opportunities out there at that 79 price point and 80 price point. And then, you know, the rest of them kind of go back up into the mid 80s. Okay, but this is absolutely the cheapest or the lowest price one and family. I don't see any indicators that say, well, here's why it's low priced, right? So let's get into it. <clears throat> Obviously, we got this beautiful smoky granite mica. I mean, I'm just loving that color combination. Looks like we've got some dark. I don't know family in 22. Obviously, we've, I think we've got the bespoke package in 22, right? So it, I, what looks to be on this car is this looks to be potentially OEM the dark OEM stuff here. 
or it could be done aftermarket. We'd have to confirm, but let's just walk through what it is. We've got the grill ring that has been darkened, okay? These out these these uh, headlights look to have also been darkened. This looks to be a carbon fiber, and I and I'm saying carbon fiber because I see a reflection on it. Where traditionally with the vinyl we don't see a reflection, at least my experience. Um, and I'm also seeing the mirror caps here darkened. Right? We know from the factory we got the carbon fiber tops up here. Uh, let's see if we can see a little bit more. Still got the beautiful 21 inch wheels on this thing. Obviously we've got tint on this one. That tint looks to be nice and dark, but again, it could be because of, you know, the, the, the scene. I mean, I do see a lot of shading on this side, so it could just be that, right? But if you got any concerns about, you know, living in an area to where they are just completely, you know, scrutinous on the tint, you know, you can do a quick check of that at the dealership, okay? Performance package with that nice retractable spoiler sticking up back there. Um, let's see what else. Obviously, guys, we got the carbon fiber door seal right there. This has got those amazing sports seats. Now remember, 21, we step away from the Rioja red and we step into the circuit red interior, right? So this one's got a little bit brighter interior that I think pops off this smoky granite mica, right? Um, but again, performance package on this guy, 18,000 miles family, right? We're gonna get back to that here in a few moments. Picture's looking good, you know, I mean, me being tedious right here, guys, but that's just a wipe off, right? <clears throat> uh, but picture's looking good. <clears throat> Back seat, a little bit of use right there, but nothing that doesn't appear to be, you know, something we can just clean up. Tires look to be really good, at least from the outside, right? You guys know from our previous discussions, when we're inspecting these vehicles, because this one's not at a Lexus dealership, make sure you turn that steering wheel all the way in so that you can get... Um, a clear picture of the tread from left to right. Okay. That's how you're going to really be able to make sure, because some folks are, some folks have, have mentioned that the wear or the is actually happening in the middle of the tire. So doing just a little touch of the exterior tire is not going to get you what you want. Okay. All right. Um, let's do this family. Let's, let me go back. Actually, let me get out of the, <clears throat> out of the camera here for a second. All right, let's look at the deets that we can tell from this, and then I'm going to jump into the Carfax on this one real quick. All right, so 2022 record low price of $78,998. We'll not find another one on the market at that price or lower, right? 18,000 miles. Now, when we talk about that 10,000 mile allotment, right, this one's still underneath average, but only by about 200 I'm sorry, 2,000 miles, which, listen, I'll take it, right? I mean, you got a person, and I think this is a one-owner vehicle, guys. You got a one-owner who drove it and enjoyed it for two years, um, and the car looks to be in tremendous shape and condition, right? Circuit red interior, like I said, 78,000. Let's look at the Carfax on this one real quick. So no accidents on this one, love that. Carfax one-owner, love that, okay? And again, before I get back into this, right? Well, you know what? I'll summarize it on that. Let's take a look and see what we can find that's been done on this vehicle, right? Um, so let's see. <clears throat> 5,000 mile service done, right? Right at that 5,000 mile piece, okay? We're in Lexus of Palm Beach, so it's a Florida. L looks like it was sold in New York, but delivered to Florida, okay? So uh, Florida car, 10,000 mile service ahead of... Um, interval 15,000 mile service look baby this is the way I like to see it right here 15,000 mile done right there now why is this important right we just talked about the the owner on this one has slight 2,000 miles less than the 10,000 mile annual allotment okay but I think what this story tells is that wow we've got a person who's in absolutely using this car enjoying this car, but they are absolutely making sure that it's serviced, right? And serviced back at the dealership, okay? Alignments are being done, front wiper blades are being replaced, tires are being rotated, which obviously that's just left to right, no front to rear on this car because of the staggered uh, fitment, right? We got the 15,000 mile alignment done here. I'm loving that. Um, and then of course, we're not, we're not going to see a 20,000 mile because 
Um, let's face it, right? We haven't hit 20,000 miles yet. Okay. But now let's look at real quick at what BMW uh, of Delray still in Florida. Okay. They've done their pre-inspection. They did the oil chains and now we got some tires replaced. So two tires replaced and they did the cabin air filter replacement. So I am bet you those two tires are probably the rear tires, which are the most expensive tires. But Regardless of those details, which you can we can work out as a part of the you know the conversations directly with the dealer on this one, I'm just loving that we've got a the cheapest 22 on the market, and I've already even though it's not from a Lexus dealership, so no certification is being done, guys. We've already got some aspects of the certification handled on this one, right? Oil change. Let's face it, any good dealer is going to include that as a part of their prep. The tires, not so much, right? So. What I love about this is that, listen, you're coming in here to purchase this vehicle because it's not at the Lexus dealership. You may have an opportunity to negotiate pricing down a bit. Not that I think it's got to be a deal breaker on this car because it's already the lowest. It's an it's industry lowest on this one. OK, but what I love is that, listen, you know, tires are going to set you back two thousand to three thousand dollars. Right. So you've got fifteen. You got a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars that is been already provided in this lowest price possible. You don't have to worry about the oil change. That's already done. The cabin air filter done. So that's at least a $250 um, service. Um, just, you know, taking it into the dealership just to get a random service done on the vehicle. So family, I mean, we, we already got somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,250 to $1,750 in value just because of the attention that BMW of Delray Beach has already paid to this vehicle, right? So let's get back up here real quick, right? And again, you know, you guys may be like, why is he talking in such detail? And why is he always trying to make things sound maybe better than they obviously are? Because these are aspects that we have to take into consideration. And let's face it, if you bought this car and the two rear tires were wore out, and let's face it too, let's be honest, dealerships will sell the car knowing that tires need to be replaced and w people will buy the car, right? I mean, I'm guilty of doing this in my past purchases as well, right? Because I'm thinking to myself, what's the bigger picture, Tony? You know, and of course I'll negotiate to get the tires replaced, but if they don't budge again, what's the bigger picture? I'm trying to pick up a car here, not, not tires, right? But this right here absolutely adds tremendous value because you could take that, you know, 1500 bucks off this thing, right? And now we're sitting at even lower low price on the market. So family summary, 2022 smoky granite mica, which is a beautiful color. And this one, again, double check on this one too, guys, might have some type of protection on the outside, right? PPF or vinyl wrap, hard to tell. But again, this color seems to be just a, a bit darker than what it normally appears as. Could be the lighting, but again, you know, it, if this car has some external protection on it, that much more value, right? All right, let me get off my, my rant on this one, but I, I really do like this one because with the with the pricing, you know, trends that we're seeing right now, we're we're paying more for 2018s, right? I mean, some 2018s are already in the seventy thousand dollar band, so to pick up something that's four years newer, that's the best package you can get. It's got some of these dark elements that we all like and appreciate, right? And we've got low 18,000 miles, bright red circuit interior for $78,998. Guys, I think it's obvious why this one's on the channel this week. Fam, that is our episode for the week. I will have all the details of what we discussed tonight in the comments. You guys have a beautiful weekend. Godspeed.